Uh, I'm Francesco Mancini, I'm an adjunct associate professor at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy and I'm currently teaching a course on conflict analysis and conflict resolution. Well, I've always been a big fan of James Bond and I always thought of what elements uh, allowed for such a franchise to be so successful for over, ten, for over five decades. And I think there is an element that is often overlooked and this element is the politics of James Bond, and particularly the world politics. James Bond, in some way, addresses our fears. Of course, he does it in a very easy way, creating an escapism from the real politics, because there is always a solution. There is always a good guy who can solve our problems, and that, of course, is James Bond. But a lot of the plots resonate with the fears uh, of, of the time. And so I thought that this is also an element that probably has helped the series to be so successful across very different uh, geopolitical environments. So the one that came to mind uh, is a movie that came out in 1997 with Peace Brosnan. It was titled Tomorrow Never Dies. And in that movie, um, there was uh, a media mogul whose goal was to create an incident in the South China Sea, in that case between UK and China, so that the Third World War would happen and his empire would benefit from it. And I think this resonates very much with a lot of the concern that we have today in that part of the world. So and that was 1997. Uh, so I think that is in some way something that resonates very much with the global audience. I think if there is a lesson, actually a lesson for politics in James Bond, is that you need to adapt. And clearly James Bond has been very good in keeping the similar formula but adapting to the expectation of the day. And I believe that we will see more, more adaptation in the future. Um, James Bond actually collaborated in the past with um, services in, uh, intelligence services in the East, particularly Japan. But I think that might be a feature that we'll see more in the future. I do believe that the franchise is so grounded into the British intelligence service uh, tradition that that's the James Bond that will be in the future as well. But the stories, the plot, as well as his uh, support will probably shift toward, uh, toward the East. Uh, today, one of the main support of James Bond is, of course, a CIA agent. Uh, we might see in the future more actors uh, from, uh, um, from Asia uh, coming in and having a more supporting role. 